Good morning, modern steaders. It's literally raining cats and dogs out right now. We've already gotten over an inch of rain since midnight. Here it is, 6 a.m. in the morning. The pigs don't want to come out. Don't blame them. We started doing some ditching yesterday down to the new culvert. I want to see how that's working. <laughs> it's running nice, guys. We don't have the catch basin in yet, so the water's just pooling right here. Flowing good. It's moving. It's doing what we want it to do. Morning, girls. It's loud in here, huh? Holy moly. Two and a half to two and three quarters cups of goat's milk this morning, guys. Look at that. You ready to see your babies? They're ready for you, Willow. Go for it. I think they've had enough of the rain. If you had enough of the rain, Like, yes, let us in. I think this is gonna be our most milk so far. Little over two and a half cups. You look like you're ready for the rain. <laughs> Have a good day at school. Okay. Couple more days left. Ah, uh, well, that has that much water in it. We're supposed to be finishing digging that trench today to the house and getting the electrical conduit to the house. <laughs> ah, so much rain, so much rain. <laughs> Kiddos ready this way. Rain barrels probably flooded over. Oh yeah, plenty of water in the rain barrel now. Puddles everywhere. The meat bird's got a nice bath. Standing water everywhere. <sighs> That's the first time this has happened. I don't think any water got in the pipe. But we're going to keep it up high so we know for sure. But I do know water got in my boot I guess that means it's time for a new pair of rubber boots <laughs> you guys gonna come out and have breakfast now that it's not raining so hard 
Look at all the rain that got in there last night. Now that Willow's been in the back room for a while with just the babies, I'm gonna let them all in together. I just like to give the kids alone time with Willow so we can make sure she gives them enough milk. Come on, guys. Where's Magnolia? What are you doing, Magnolia? Come on. Come on in. There you go. You gonna play with them, Hope? Huh, you gonna play with them? Looks like they're here. We're gonna bury the conduit today. Conduit prepped up. I think we're gonna need seven selections or seven sections today. And of course, guys, it's raining out again.
lined up. Primer. Rubber cement. it on, give it a twist, uh, there we go, we'll hold it for a little bit, make sure it sets up, yep, we're good, on to the next one, Push and spin. There we go. Let it set up. There we go. Down to the next one. water. That should be high enough. 
On. Good thing. So my boots I had on earlier, I stepped in this puddle to get the pipe up. And I'm like, yep, yeah, they got a hole in them, filled right up with water. It's like nice. Well, I drove that one ton home. My grandson dropped the other truck off down the five, and the windows were down. Ah. Down about five thirty this morning. I believe it. Cut a 90 before to make a corner. I have a, st I have more street sweeps. I just figure we're better off if we can bend the pipe. Yeah. If we can, I do have sh another sweep 90. Let that set up for a minute because it's going to be in the water. Put the other one on now so we can yeah, get the so leverage. Like yep. Let's mark where we need to cut this pipe. We get good coverage on this one.
Ah, oh, bummer guys. Gotta add in a little section. I was hoping I could work backwards, but you know how that goes. There was Vartha's shop. Ah, I picked up some couplings last time. You never know. There and there. Gonna cut it right here. Give this another try. We'll have that on the big jobs. I believe it. We have one. one. Just one. How many did you have? Two. Two? We sure are having some strange weather. Yesterday it was 90 degrees out. Today it's been rainy. Now the wind came in and it is cold. It feels like fall. Hey pigs. You ready? You want a treat? Yeah. 
Hope you're missing out on the alfalfa pellets and sunflower seeds. I don't care. Nope. What do you think, little pea? You want to come back in now? Come on, Hope. Come on. Come on back in. You coming? Let's go. Come on in. Come here. This way. Come here. Get in so I can shut the gate. Good job. You're not going to play with a little man now that I got the camera out? They've been buddies all day long. See? Mm. Been watching them from the editing room. Mm -hmm. Hope little man wants to play. Little man wants to play with you. Look at these two. They got their heads stuck in a bucket. Hope! No. Hold on. Don't take it off. <laughs> Hope don't care. She's like, there's food in here. First it was little pea bigger than magnolia, then magnolia is bigger than little pea, and now little pea is bigger than magnolia. We got the lane all finished off. And I was able to compact it. Is that a lot nicer to walk on now? Yeah. I hear the ducks. <laughs> what are you doing in there, crazy white chicken? Pluto, stay over here. I'm hoping for a better egg count today. Five. Better than yesterday. We got all that done today despite of the rain. I'm glad we didn't let that stop us. It feels good to have the underground conduit all buried and ready to go so we can get power down to the new barn once it's all constructed. I am so glad that the night before we were able to compact the gravel down. If we didn't, it would have been a huge muddy mess. And it was nice to be able to see that the ditching and drainage we made for the new barn location is working. I'm not glad that we got the inch and a quarter of rain last night, but I'm glad that everything's working the way we planned it to. It's always nice to see that working out, especially before everything's all done. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.